everyone. Thank you for watching Aviv Tarot. And today we are going to do a pick a card reading. And um, this reading, we are going to actually, it's more like a pick a deck. I have two tarot deck and two Lenderman deck. And those will be the primary deck that we'll use for the reading. But I will also use the other like tarot decks and the Lenderman deck as well um, for each of the piles. I mean, but those will be like we'll see we'll see what the cards come out and if we need to use like a an additional deck or something like that all right so but this will be more like a pick a deck pick a deck that you like one two three four and um we will do an on-camera shuffling and the theme of today's pick a card or pick a deck is um the kind of the a message from the universe so i don't know what the message is going to be um we'll see if it's you know depending on the energy and all of that but like what you need to know right now okay so um i'll also pick um a card from this new deck that I just received yesterday and I actually did a, a, a deck review okay deck review and flip through yesterday as well that I uploaded this is a really unique deck because it's actually like a, it's an oracle deck but in Chinese so um, so we'll see we'll see what cards come out and um, pick your pile or pick your deck and I'll put the timestamps in the description box below. And if you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, I am going to start with pile number one. Okay. So for pile number one, you picked this deck. So we'll use this deck as your primary deck. Um, so we'll see what kind of messages the universe wants to give you right now. So what kind of messages the universe wants to give you right now. What kind of message. What kind of message you need to know right now or the universe wants to give you right now. What kind of messages. We'll see if any cards flip out. Okay, there's one six of gems that's nice okay. the primary card that flipped out is the six of gems and it's the generosity so for you i feel like the message in particular that's for pile number one is about give and take it's about give and take it's about finding balance finding harmony and for this particular deck it gives it uh, the keyword is generosity generosity so i feel like maybe um in the next i don't know a few days to a few months maybe like a couple months or so two or three months um but i feel like it, it's probably more immediate okay it's more immediate it is a, a minor arcana card so i feel like most likely it will should be within a month or two um okay but it could even be shorter than that it could be the next two three weeks too okay within a week or so so anyways take it however it resonates but i feel the message that for pile number one the main message is about generosity either you're giving a lot of generosity to other people or you're going to be on the receiving end okay you're going to be on the receiving end because this is uh six of pentacles is about you know generosity it's about give and take it's about chair i i feel like it's about charity as well because that was the one of the um word that popped into my head okay when i saw it, six of pentacles today and so it's like it's about gen uh, charity um so maybe you're giving back to the society but also uh, in that case i feel like that's also you know you're giving to giving to the society giving being really generous to people and you're getting the same kind of generosity back like a good karma coming back to you so there's that and um six of gems it's something um, physical something um material that you can see you can grasp okay uh or you can feel so it could be like you know getting a, a love uh, feeling loved in return um, or you know getting physical 
like money, okay, something tangible like money or something like that. Um, but it could also be like in regards to your work or something, you know, if however much effort you're putting into getting something that you really wanted and you're going to get the same amount back, okay? That's the main message for pile number one. It's an amazing card. And let's see if there are any additional messages. Any additional messages for pile number one. Today is going to be like a pretty quick, you know, pick a card. Because it's just a short message um, the universe wants to give you. Oh, there's that one that flew out. Oh, nice. Four of, oh my goodness, four of roses. Okay, what did I say? Six of pentacles and four of roses. This is amazing. Okay, so the two cards combined, I feel like uh, some for some of you, um, you will also... So the majority of you is the six of pentacles, getting good karma back, being really generous to other people, or being on the receiving end of, of other people's generosity. And the combination of this, I feel the another, um, maybe, you know, half of you guys will actually, uh, four of roses is a four of wands card. And it's a very, um, for this deck, it's about respect. So you're also going to um, get a lot of respect back, but it's also, uh, like if it's a Rider Waite card, it's about happiness it's about celebration um it's also uh, some people refer it to it as the 11 11 card right manifestation twin flame what have you and it's like a it could be a celebration of wedding or just you know celebration and if you're watching this video as i uploaded them we are getting really 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 close to christmas so um there is that possibility of getting um, a proposal okay of some sort so um as we were mentioning earlier of the six of gems it's about you know getting something back the amount of effort that you put in you're going to get the same amount back whether it's love or um you know family um did i say work love work family whatever it is and over here we have the four of roses it's 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 um it could also be like a promotion if it's work related okay if you're you know single and you don't really have anyone um in mind that or with anyone right now so that could be you know very much work related as well uh, or you know just being with a group of people that you feel very very close to you feel it's like your soul tribe that you connect with resonate with very much you understand each other you guys share similar values um um, and, and you know the same amount of care uh, you as much as you care about them they care about you as well and maybe you guys will spend this wonderful time together I mean if you didn't if you watch this video way after because because it, it is timeless it's just like about celebrations about very peaceful um, happy time okay being spent so that's the message for pile number one it's an amazing card all right so let's see uh for the oracle cards over here okay that's the one that flipped out okay over here it says um put down your cell phone and um go out with like real people go and socialize that's what this this uh is saying and then and then it's telling you to you know go ahead and ask them out okay ask them out so definitely i feel like my pile number one your main message is probably i mean because this is the gem so it could be work like we were talking about it could be a lot of things could be work could be just you know in general getting things back but um the these two other cards is very love um, heavy I feel or like ha happy love so um, or like romantic this one is definitely like romantic as well but but it could be other things too like go and um, you know ask your friends to hang out in person um, I know if you're watching this video as I upload them we are in a pandemic and we have like the stay home order and all of that but if you guys are all tested and you know you know it's pretty safe to hang out with each other then then definitely spend the time together because I think we've been alone for like almost the whole entire year this year. So, I mean, people are probably desperate to to connect with other people, right, in person instead of just over the phone, um, text and email. And also, but if you're watching this way after, I just feel like um, nowadays we're just like so technology heavy. I'm like 
it's uh, i'm actually really 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 tech savvy but at the same time i hate technology so much like we reliance rely on it so much that we actually start to lose a lot of abilities right for example we don't even write we have horrible handwritings because we type so much like no one writes anymore but i i'm still like super old school i still prefer getting a book okay instead of uh reading ebooks although although i am you know <laughs> getting very used to audiobooks that's a, a great invention um, especially for people with like you know um sight uh, you know eyesight problems and stuff like that but so technology like helps us a lot but then i just feel like sometimes it cripples us right and um so if you can i would definitely this is a a, a message to 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 tell you to you know go outside okay so i i guess you don't even have to go and like meet with people per se you can just get out of the house go outside go into the nature go hang out outside of your home that's that's what i feel especially this i feel like this is especially true for people who are single if you're not spending a lot of times outside of your home right now or you're spending a lot of time uh time hermiting um go and mingle with people right go find um i don't know if there are any like meetups or any groups that you can hang out with and i'm talking about this like not maybe during the pan pandemic okay because it is timeless so like after but even during the pandemic i think there's still ways like i'm sure there's going to be ways invented soon and 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 also uh recently there's all these people getting shots and everything like vaccines and stuff like that so i think it's going to uh things are going to change right as the um you know so um so anyways that is the message that i have for pile number one it's such an amazing you know message that i don't really think it's necessary to pull any other cards because it's just um wonderful wonderful message and i don't think you I, I mean if you want to know more then maybe watch the other videos or um or if you want to know specifically things in regards to your life then you know just you can contact me i don't really like to um you know advertise about personal readings since i really think like sometimes it's good to know a little bit but sometimes it's kind of bad because then it you're constantly thinking about it especially um i mean if it's a good um reading then you're like oh yay crazy yay but then sometimes i feel like when i get a really good reading i am also crippled by it too because i really hope it would happen and then i keep thinking about it hoping it would happen and then you forget to focus um in the moment right now so but anyways if you want to you know do a personal reading go ahead and i mean i'm not super against it obviously because i still offer it but i just don't advertise it if you watch all of my other videos you'll see i hardly ever talk about it anyway so that's what i see for pile number one and if you have any um thing that you want to share with me if this resonated with you leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel and my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye all right so for pile number two you chose this deck um it's a Lenor, Lenorman deck, or Lenormand, Le, Le, Lenormand deck. So let's see what the main message is for you. Or just um, we usually read two cards together. Okay. What are some messages for pile number two? What are some messages for pile number two? What kind of messages we have for pile number two? Oh, uh, too many. What kind of messages do we have for a pile? If it doesn't pop out, then I'm gonna just try. Okay, there's one. There's the tower. Oh. Ooh. 
There's the tower. There's the man. Okay. Um, it's a general reading. So that's why the man could represent it's, it's not gender specific. Okay. It's not gender specific. It could be representing you or, um, yeah, it, it, it represents you. Okay. The current. Um, so whether it, if you're a guy or a girl, it doesn't really matter. Even though it's pop out, um, uh, the car that popped out is a male. Okay. So, um, what it is, is that I feel with the tower card, I, um, <laughs> kind of, uh, first of all, so there's a few different messages. If it's in regards to love, okay. If it's in regards to love, I think you've probably feel pretty lonely recently. Um, if you're watching this video as I upload them, um, I mean the whole year, I feel like a lot of people probably feels kind of lonely if you're if you don't have anyone you know to hang out with or um or you're staying at home most of the time you know you don't have like a significant other or like a family around um but for others of you i feel like even if you're surrounded by people because you're you have your families around but maybe you have to you know stay at home and work and whatever it is it doesn't really matter what the situation is um and also it's timeless so even if it's not during the pandemic i feel like even if you're whether you're alone or you're surrounded by people you might feel still very lonely like a lack of something because that's what the tower is about in the Lenormand card, okay? Like you're high above in the in the tower and looking around and, and you're just feeling a little bit lonely, a little bit like people don't really understand you. Um, maybe you have like a yearning and a longing for like a closeness with someone, okay? It doesn't have to be romantic. It just means that you have maybe you you actually set up a wall around you and people are very very it's very hard for people to understand what you want what you're trying to um do okay or to understand you and so i would really say like the suggestion is to open yourself up if you're longing for something right you if you don't tell people what it is that you want people no one will know like um <laughs> I could totally relate to this. Like I always feel like people don't understand me, but, um, but then again, I don't really share a lot of things and I do keep a lot of things to myself. And I real I like when I was younger, I always feel like people should just know they like, cause, cause the thing is, this is what it is. Probably most of you, um, cause I feel like people should just know like what I want, what I, you know, like, all that stuff, because I'm the kind of person that would be really, really observant. I would observe, um, you know, what other people are doing, what they're like. I would see, I would ask them questions and I would remember like, oh, okay. They like this. Oh, they need this. This is what they want. Blah, blah, blah. During like conversations or just by observation observation and so it just kind of like hurts me a little bit that people don't do the same to me you know and i have to voice it and i just feel like if you have to tell people about it it's just not in some ways you feel it's it, they're they don't care or they're not very um caring or observant of your needs and all that you know I, it's really hard to explain just like not very um careful careful in the sense that they don't like see they're not very observant like they don't really put you as their prior as a as a priority because they didn't see that you have to tell them you know all that stuff but then now i'm just thinking that's just how people are and you can't expect other people to be like you. Um, and, and so you just have to cater, you just have to adapt. Okay. And, and when they, and, and sometimes it doesn't mean that they don't care when they don't notice or they don't know. It's just really a lot being kind of ignorance in some cases. And sometimes people, not all of pe all of the people, are like us who are very observant and very empathic that can just feel and know, right? 
so that's the message for uh like in regards to love that i think you really should express um how you feel about people like you're probably putting up a wall and people it's really hard for people to get in um to you okay so for but if it's in regards to like work situation the tower is actually a really good card because that means you're going to be actually be able to get into maybe a, a, a large organization it's a large very well established company um organization a huge organization could also be a government okay um a huge organization i'm like off of the top of my head like for example like apple or google or even like hospitals okay like huge hospitals kaiser permanente or something like that okay um i i only know the ones in in the states so if you're like anywhere else in the other parts of the world i don't really know your hospitals like organizations or huge companies in your country but um it's about that it's like super established very well known companies and you'll probably be able to work in there and tower i feel like it could also mean that you're you know getting promoted um and within the company you're climbing up the social ladder or the 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 company ladder right um so i think that's actually a really good card to get if it's for, uh, in regards to work situation but um but in, but then this could also mean that maybe your a lot of your you guys' focus is on uh, about work so you don't put a lot of um effort um in regards to building relationships as in like romantic relationship with, or just relationship with other people um besides your colleagues and clients and that kind of things and so these other people are having a little bit of hard time getting to know you getting um and, uh you know finding closeness relate to you and all that stuff and then and you probably don't spend a lot of time with them as well so um maybe that's that's one of the messages to um work is really important but maybe you should uh start like i said express what you need if you're yearning it doesn't mean that you don't want it like um you know closeness and with people but it's just that maybe that wasn't like your primary focus that you're not prioritizing it and um but you're you are you yearn for it okay and so if that is the case you should express it um you should let people know what it is uh how you feel what you want and maybe you're just not very good at expressing it but at least try you know or you or you can i find it it's always easy to write it if you are having a very hard time telling people verbally okay so let's see if there's any other messages there is ooh stork that's a really good sign oh my gosh two awesome cards okay we have the stork and then we have the dog that's about faith that's about loyalty that's about friends relationship right friendship and over here we have stork which is about change um but it could also be about you know moving moving from one place to another it could be about birth of like a new idea or like pregnancy okay so what i feel is that maybe i think there's going to be some kind of a change in relationships so definitely yeah i feel uh you're maybe uh if you do take the suggestion about you know if you do long for like closeness with people or wanting people to get to know you better i think there is a change coming and i think you're going to make some really good friends um people who are super faithful to you people who are they very super caring unconditional love okay there are some kind of changes coming and um like a, a change in a relationship so maybe if you are um in a relationship right now i think there's going to be some great change coming okay great change coming maybe there's going to be a birth of a new soul okay as in like pregnancy a new baby or something like that and 
um, but it could also just be like moving the relationship forward, getting closer with each other, getting to know each other better, all of that. And maybe there is also moving towards something um, like a, someone who cares about you. So maybe you're going to be moving uh, with moving in with someone. OK, that's really close to you. Uh, so that's a possibility as well. So that's the additional message for pile number two is that there is some kind of a change coming in regards to relationship and friendship or um, as well as like moving, okay? Moving towards a relationship, moving towards uh, a friendship or building that and a birthing of a new relationship. Doesn't have to be new, it could be old, um, but it just you're just gonna maybe rekindle um, old friendship, people that you've known for a while, or you're gonna deepen a, a, a friendship, okay? Or a relationship. All right, so let's see if there are any more additional messages for pile number two. Wow, your cards are okay. All right. Any additional messages for pile number two? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, this one is, it says play dead first. Okay, so pretend like, it's more like it's about pretending. And then over here is on the back, it says the black bear is still there. It's hilarious. So like pretending to like, so playing dead, right? Cause we all know about like bears. If, if you see one, you should play dead. It's kind of like that message but um for so for pile number two i guess if you are <laughs> this is kind of interesting um so there's an additional message for you is that if there are people that you really don't want to associate yourself with then maybe just pretend um i think <laughs> or it, like maybe you've made some pro like uh, what i hear is like you made some promises but then you couldn't fulfill it and people now are questioning you like uh you promised this you promised that and you didn't deliver what's going on kind of like that vibe and what you do is like what really uh what do you mean <laughs> that kind of thing so like just kind of mm, pretend like you forgot about it or something like that and then and not that you should do it but it, it would help um help with you know diverging the the anger towards you okay if people are getting mad because you promised them something and you couldn't or didn't deliver and you should probably go and hurry and try to make up uh for it okay so that would be like an additional message for pile number two is that if there anything that you promise someone and you didn't deliver and didn't do you probably this would be like an additional message for you it's like probably you probably should remember what that is if that resonated with anyone um and hurry and do that and if you're watching this you know what i could see if, if you're watching this like as i upload them because we're getting close to christmas maybe like gift giving if you forget or you know if it's not you know uh because it's timeless so it could be anything else too like did you forget like somebody's your really close friend's birthday um or like an anniversary date or uh you know stuff like that um and 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 yeah somebody's gonna get really angry so you're gonna be like oh <laughs> yeah so you probably now it's tell so this is giving you a little bit of a heads up and go ahead and um you know get the thing that you promised them or do the thing that you promised them and so that they won't get mad at you all right so that's the message for pile number two and um if this resonated with you <laughs> uh that's great you can leave it in the comment section below or if you have anything that you want to share with me leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel and or my video and um what else 
yeah, turn on that notification bell if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, so for pile number three, this is the deck that you got, and let's see what kind of messages is for you. What kind of messages is you're meant to hear right now? What kind of messages you're meant to hear right now? There's one. <gasps> Nine of Pentacles. It's all like great cards today. <gasps> And Page of Pentacles, bottom of the deck is Ace of Cups. <gasps> Lovers and Four of Wands. Oh my God, Temperance. Three awesome cards in a row. It's all about love. Oh my goodness. Okay. There's definitely a message over here for you, pile number three. We uh, So the first card that popped out is the Nine of Pentacles, which is about abundance um not just i i feel it's a it's a it's money okay something tangible something physical but i also feel like nine of pentacles could um just because of all these amazing cards below here with ace of cups the lovers and the four of wands oh my gosh um that i feel not just abundance of money but abundance of love okay you're gonna be surrounded by loving people could be romantic but it could be just friendship and uh family members and then we have the page of pentacles so um I, and then we like bottom of the deck ace of cups and <laughs> lovers and four of wands i think you're gonna get a proposal of some kind okay so for some of you it could be if you're single and all that um it could just you know the this proposal could be uh work related because it's it's a it's um a, a pentacle um, for others of you, I feel like it could also be um, because uh, Page of Pentacles is also it's a seeker. It's about seeking for knowledge, craving for you know being really studious, right? Wanting something um, tangible, physical knowledge, and all of that. So uh, it could be that you know um, could be a, a work offer. Okay, if you are uh maybe like uh it's a it's a very new new energy because it's a page so i would say that um there might be an offer to you to start like a project or to lead uh a, a project or something for the first time and for others of you it could also be if you're like you don't have a job right now maybe there is um, an offer on the horizon for you okay and it will help you w with your money situation <coughs> okay and um it's amazing i think you're going to be relieved from some of the financial stress that you're having okay and also i just read recently if you're watching this video if you're watching this video as i upload them um, I just read recently that there uh, is going to be some kind of a there is a bill being passed with the pandemic um, uh, money right emergency fund um, but I mean if you're watching this way after this doesn't uh, probably doesn't apply but there's still some kind of a thing that will help you with your money um, situation maybe like a friend will be helping you with money okay they're gonna give you a, a helping hand they're going to help you with um, your finance situation help to release some of your stress we have the ace of cups and the lovers and the fools i mean four of fools four of wands on the bottom of the deck so for some of you this is this is more like hidden because it's on the bottom of the deck so um i think this will be the this is will be the main energy for pile number three but i do feel like there's still like a lot of like love and friendship and and, and if you're single i feel like this is coming in okay this is coming into your life um you may not see it but it's on the horizon it's like you know 
the things that's working behind the scenes right now. And for some of you guys who are in a relationship right now, what you don't see coming is probably um, there's going to be a proposal, as we mentioned earlier, because this is about proposal. Um, but uh, <laughs> and or moving your relationship up to the next level. OK, there's something maybe they're conjuring up some kind of a surprise for you um or if you're already together or or you know already married or something like that then i think it's just really happy energy very peaceful uh harmonious energy and um and and the thing is you're gonna get love and money all everything everything that you could ask for okay you're gonna get it and it could be also like friendship, you know, getting together, um, celebration. Um, yeah, it, it's just amazing cards to have for pile number three. That's the main, the main, the, the, the what I see for pile number three, the main message. All right. Um, this is like amazing. I mean, so far for pile number three, I mean, one, two, and three, this all like pretty good. And you have very similar message as pile number one, but even better i would say <laughs> i mean power ones is good but like you have the chances of getting ace of cups the lovers and four of wands and page of pentacles and nine of pentacles wow i think you're probably just surrounded by guardian angels and and gods and goddesses or just crazy energy around you you can probably manifest a lot of things i feel like you're you're probably gonna a lot of your manifestations are probably gonna come true okay for you for pile number three let's see if there are any additional messages for pile number three besides these wonderful message already and if you're feeling quite down i feel like something amazing is going to come your way so but you're just gonna have to um you know remain positive okay any additional messages for pile number three okay. talk about remain positive this is hilarious card it says if you follow the flies it will only lead you to the bathroom okay to the bathroom if you're following the fly so again i feel like you're having amazing energy around you so don't let any negative energy, okay? If people are trying to bring you down, okay? If people are trying to bring you down, you cannot listen to them, okay? Because that will really, really affect you. Um, I think you have amazing things going on for you. And if you are in a negative energy right now, this, is, this card is telling you, following the flies will only lead you to the bathroom what does that mean like following all these like having all these negative energy will only bring in more bad energy like you're it's going to lead you to meeting more these of these like negative energy so you got to bring yourself up because you actually have amazing things going on for you and things that are working behind the scenes for you just have to remain hopeful remain positive doesn't mean that you have to like suppress your hard feelings and sadness and you know whatever it is that you're feeling i feel it's healthy to let it out okay to 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 acknowledge it um but just don't indulge in it that's what that's that's what i believe in okay um so there's the the <laughs> the the back message it's a huge law message it says to um following the right person the right the right person is the biggest gift in of life okay the um the most precious thing in the world is not uh, is okay the most precious thing in the world is knowing like through all of the people that you've uh, known and um, associated with, et cetera, et cetera, who is truly wise? Who can bring you up? Who can keep you, who can lift you up? Um, it says lift you up, uh, lift you up to heaven and, you know, bring you up to heaven, but it doesn't have to be that, okay? It could be just lift you up, feeling good about yourself about your situation 
and it says who is um you know the flies in your life that that's bringing you to like disgusting bathrooms okay so you have to um pinpoint you have to know who are the people that you want to associate yourself with and who are the people that you need to cut them out and then it says right now you are in a stage of wanting to get out of this kind of like um situation and and also getting this card is showing that you don't you're having a hard time saying no to people you're, you're you let anyone and everyone in and you don't have any you don't set a really firm boundary people will take advantage of you people will uh you let people treat you badly you let people say things and affecting you even though it's not true okay so it says to learn to leave these people learn to leave the people that makes you not feel good about yourself not make you feel comfortable about your comfortable uh you know being comfortable around with and even if it means your family members okay that just means like you need to get out of their vicinity just see them once in a while not all the time because once in a while you can probably tolerate these toxic energy but it's being surrounded by it constantly is just not good right and then it says leave the the kind of like environment that makes you sick okay and um it says the the world the earth or the planet has a lot of wonderful wonderful places why would you want to follow a fly into the bathroom <laughs> so that is the message for pile number three look at this look at all these wonderful things that's going to happen for you you're gonna have like lovers coming in so people if you're single i think you're going to find someone who is going to bring you true happiness who uh, we have the four of wands this is the some people call it the soulmate card right the twin flame card so you're going to find somebody who's going to give you a lot of love who's going to uh share similar values um and equal give and take um so you want to be with these kind of people all right romantically or friendship wise or just family even family members okay um so that's the message for pile number three i think you have amazing things going on for you and i hope amazing things all of these wonderful things will come to you soon because i think it's on the work right now but i think you're probably feeling it right now because we do have the nine of pentacles and page of pentacles you're see it says you're in the process of leaving these people so i think you're in the process already and trying to get get rid of these horrible people in your life so that's the message for pile number three and i hope this re uh, this resonated with you and if you have anything that you want to share with me you can leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel under my video and um, turn on that notification bell if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye all right so last pile the message that you that's meant for you is you have this deck it's a Lenormand deck as well um so let's see what the main message is for you for pile number four what are what is the main message for oh okay we have the birch rod that's a whip um okay we have the sun okay um a rod is <laughs> is not a very good card it's a whip uh it's about abuse it's about um arguments but it's also about repeated cycles repeating things it's about quarrels right or being abused and then we have the sun which is sun is always a good bright energy to have so i feel with pile number four getting these two cards i feel um maybe for some of you you're getting uh you're mistaking people who are really abusive to you maybe you're okay so this is for some of you some of you might resonate with this you mistake 
people who are abusive as in like that's kind that's like um love or showing attention um maybe that's the kind of like maybe environment that you grew up with like when people are being like abusive like verbally abusive not 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 necessarily physical but you you mistake it as like love okay from the person and i think you really need to um get out of that don't think that because um like you treat it as as a good thing okay and and i feel like or for some of you guys even though um I, maybe you have like a dark past or something like that you know and you're trying to be um move on with your life okay try to be see things on the bright side okay um there's that kind of energy or message and for some of you the 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 rod the birch rod or the whip can also mean there is one good meaning from this it's about it's sexual okay it's kind of sexual well it's not kind of it's sexual uh, but the thing is, it's a little bit of S&M, okay? It's kind of like that Fifty Shades of Grey. And um, and I still feel <laughs> that movie is a little bit... Yeah, it, I, it, I, okay, that is a movie. And I really don't think... Um, it could happen in real life, but for the most part, it's... Um, I think it's 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 making someone who's abusive so look so good and and then I I just think it's like the wrong message okay so like um so you need to differentiate okay the the people who really care about you and people who are just purely abusive and it's not that they care about you through like you know harsh words and mean words or even physically abusing you or you know us uh, the sexual like crazy snm kind of sex right um snm is you know sadist masochist type of you know thing uh but if it's just for fun i think yeah okay you know but if it's really like mm, then you probably want to watch out for that. Um, so for some of you, it could be, you know, having a lot of fun sexually with your partner if you are having a partner. But for others of you, you really need to watch out. This is what the message for pile number four is that I think you need to watch out people disguising them as this bright, nice person. But deep down, they have some evil intention okay they have some evil intentions of course it could be working the other way around but i feel it's it's more like they're disguising themselves as this really good person but then they're secretly abusive and so i, I so in some ways i feel this is what it the message is that you can't judge a book by its cover okay don't judge the book by its cover um don't fall for people too fast without really getting to know them be a little bit more observant protect yourself a little bit okay because some people might be a little abusive and you can't tr treat it as it's a good thing because you're maybe you're used to that you know people being mean to you and you think that is a good thing does that like that's like a, a way of showing love but it's not it's kind of twisted right so let's see if there's any other additional messages coming out okay Ooh, we do have the mountain and flower wow you both you have a lot of conflicted energy we have the whip and then we have the sun we have the mountain which is about obstacles we it's just uh, yeah it's about challenges and obstacle and then we have the flower which represents gifts and wonderful things so okay just seeing the cards how it's like good and bad good and bad cards coming out i think you're very conflicted right now too for pile number four there's a lot of conflicted energy so for that abusive message that will probably resonate to for some of you guys but for others of you now seeing this this other set of cards i feel you have a lot of conflicted 
feelings right now. Maybe you're feeling very, very, very conflicted. A lot of things going on in your life, and you're you're not quite sure where to go, what to do. And、um, maybe some of the things could be blessings in disguise, but some of other things could be just purely bad, right? And 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 it disguise it's. Bad things disguised as good. <laughs> so some of them are blessings in disguise, but some of the things are actual like bad things disguised as good. Okay,、um, so I feel like with the flower and the mountain, you will overcome. You will overcome this challenge. Okay, a gift will be. You're gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel soon. Maybe this is what it is as well. That having the sun at the end and then the the whip, like the things in the past is in the past. Um, but right now, right now at this very moment, I feel there's a lot of conflicted energy in you, and maybe there's things that you're trying to decide and you just can't decide, make a really good judgment or making a really good decision because you're just really conflicted. There's uh like good and bad things. For either choice or either things that you're whatever you're struggling with, there is a good and a bad to it, and you're just very conflicted. It could be conflicted about a person. You could be conflicted about a thing, right?、It、could be conflicted about like a work situation or whatever it is. So very very conflicted. But I feel like having this、uh, really good cards coming out in the right hand side. I do feel you're moving towards good things. Okay. Good things are coming, but right now it might feel very challenging. It might feel like you're just maybe you're repeating the same same mistakes over and over because the whip has about that too. Repeating the same thing over, okay, and over like bad things. Over and over again,、um, so there is that kind of energy. But I think you're going to soon maybe get out of it. You're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to be gifted with someone, something. Maybe someone will be helping you, okay,、um, uh, with the challenge that you're having, the conflicted feelings that you're having.、Um, I think there is going to be something good coming in. But right now,、um, it's just a, a, a phase that you have to go through. Okay, so let's see what other message is for pile number four. What other messages are gonna be for? Ooh, we have so many tarts. Okay, what kind of other messages? Any other messages for pile number four? It's not coming out. So we're gonna pick one card. Oh my God, we got this one. I think was it pile number three? Got this or pile number two?、Um, got this one. It says pretend. Okay, first pretend, and then the message in the back is actually it says the black bear hasn't gone yet. You know what it means is that. Uh, when we, I don't, I don't know if it's true or not, but like when you're,、so、apparently, like if you're, if you see a bear, you're, you're, you have to play dead or something like that, right? So for some of you, for pile number four,、um, what it is is to pretend.、Uh, okay, I feel like this is a little bit different message for the other pile because of you have different cards, all right. So what it is is that you're gonna right now you're you feel conflicted. Maybe right now you feel kind of depressed. Things are just horribly not good for you or something, okay. And I feel like you need to pretend. And、um, it's a saying, you know, fake it until you make it. So you gotta fake it. Fake as if it's you're in a really good situation. You're you're you are going to.、Um, Manifest these good things coming into your life. You need to attract these good things. So you, what you do is you first pretend. Okay, you pretend. And also, I feel with this is about playing dead.、Um, so if it's people who are challenging, people who are giving you a, a hard time, okay, or being abusive or whatever it is, you just gotta have to ignore them. You gotta just turn everything off. 
block them out if you can play dead uh, um and and i i think what it also means is that you can't let these things get to you because there's new things coming in there's going to be good things coming in for you but um it, it might not be for a while might i feel it's not going to be super long but it's it's going to take a little bit of time and um it, it is a phase that you have to go through and i think once you go through this you're going to be that much stronger and better and wonderful right but right now i guess this message is telling you just to um play pretend okay play dead pretend everything is okay and the more you do that um I, I actually don't think like pretend everything's okay. It means like suppressing things, right? If you, but you don't have to complain to every single person that you see. Just, I think you, you can dump your emotions to people who are, you're really, really close with, but, um, the other, the, the, the rest of the people who are giving you problems and all of that, you just gotta, you know, smile and walk away smile and walk away because um these people who are treating you badly they're going to get their karma and what you want to do is just focus on yourself make you f make yourself love yourself make yourself feel good um do what you like what makes you happy and i think things are going to move to a good a brighter side all right there's things coming in for you there's going to be a gift i think you're going to be overcoming this challenge and this um abuse all right um and yeah so that's the message i see for pile number four let me know if this resonated with you i feel like number four's message might be a little bit specific um but we'll see <laughs> I, uh, if this resonated with you leave it in the comment section below or if you have anything that you want to share with me leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel and do my video and subs uh, and turn on that um that notification bell if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video Bye bye